The lionfish is an invasive species accidentally introduced to the Atlantic Ocean in the 1980s. They devour juvenile fish, have 18 venomous spines for defense, and no natural predator. Laying millions of eggs per year, they threaten the collapse of our entire ocean ecosystem. In Bermuda, an abundance of lionfish are found at 60 meters deep, approximately 200 feet beneath the surface. Technical divers, like Dr. Gretchen Goodbody Gringley, represent an elite few who risk their lives to research and combat the lionfish crisis. Hi, I'm Dr. Gretchen Goodbody Gringley at the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences. I'm a coral reef ecologist studying the biodiversity and ecosystem function on coral reefs in Bermuda. We've found the lionfish is extremely dense on deep reefs. And so my area of research focuses now on these deep areas. This is beyond where a normal, traditional recreational scuba diver can reach. And so I use technical diving, and specifically a closed circuit rebreather, which recycles the air that I breathe. And it does that by putting a CO2 scrubber in this canister, which is basically soda lime. So all the air that I exhale passes through this bucket. So there's a computer in the head of this system which is doing all of this, calibrating the amount of oxygen, the amount of carbon dioxide, and telling the system how much oxygen to add back in. The system typically has two small tanks on either side, and they're about this big. So you have one tank on this side, and one tank on this side, as well as a scrubber basket hooked up right here. This is the mouth. And so you can see, when we have the system hooked up, I'm inhaling from one side and the exhale goes to the other. And that's why we call it a rebreather, because you rebreathe your recycled air. Of course, there are extreme risks associated with using this technology, but we try to manage these risks with delicate and intricate planning. When Gretchen and her dive partner Alex Checker go out, it's like a trip to outer space. These underwater astronauts test their equipment vigorously to ensure there are no malfunctions. Buoys are launched for their descent, and a whole crew is standing by to get them in the water. They drop down into the blue abyss with only 20 minutes bottom time at 200 feet to capture what lionfish they can. A buoy is sent up, and the zookeepers are collected while the team do their decompression stop. The mission is a complete success. The zookeepers are emptied and a total of 49 lionfish are captured from a single deep dive. Lionfish are both edible and tasty, so these lionfish were donated to the Eat'em to Beat'em Lionfish Tournament where the Ocean Support Foundation team won a prize for their efforts. For those of you wanting to help in the culling effort, Dr. Gretchen has this to say. We need your help. We need you to control the population in the shallow reefs. We're not actively working in the shallow reef zone here at BIOS because we're concentrating on these dense populations at depth. So what we could use your help with is surveying or controlling the lionfish on shallow reefs. You can do this by scuba diving, by free diving, by snorkeling, by telling your fellow lionfish caller where you've seen a lionfish so that we can go back out there and get it. And if you're interested in helping the cause, please visit lionfish.bm for more information on the lionfish invasion and how you can get involved.